switch. When you do, you can hear the fans turning on. There's still some filters to go on those, but I'm not going to make another video on the fans. Um, so turns on, um, the fault light comes on, and the main power on um, indicator comes on. If I press this one, that then resets the uh, emergency stop relay. The fault light goes out. Um, and then when I press this button, the contact is then engaged um, and that switches on the 80 volt power supply to the drives. If I hit the emergency stop button, the power is cut to the drives um, and the fault light comes on. So whether I'm using that one or the other switch, um, that indicates that there's a fault that needs to be reset. So then reset this, reset that and off you go again. This can obviously be turned on and off. So inside then, <coughs> um, you can see the emergency rel stop relay up there. And at the moment, I've just got the um, the other e stop button um, just wired in here. So when I press this, you can see power's cut to um, the. Uh, the pills and also to the contactor. So if the contactor is switched on, so if I reset this, switch the contactor on. Um, so now when I press the e stop button, you'll see the contactor click off. So the power is cut to that. Um, and the fault light is then on on the panel. Um, so then this guy is obviously not being triggered, but this one does. So reset that, and then when I press the reset button, so the e-stop circuit is basically done. So on the back here, um, so you've got mains power coming up um, into the, the mains power distribution that I've covered on another video. Um, 24 volt power is looping around coming into here for the 24 volt distribution. Um, the emergency stop relay is then brought over through these um, through these cables which are carefully colour coded um, into these terminal blocks and then from these terminal blocks then um, this is just to distribute up to the the two illuminated switches um, and then there's mains power going to the top indicator so that just runs around the top there and back down to the mains distribution here um, and then the indicator for the fault um, is just coming back um, via these brown cables <coughs> um, which are then coming back to the, the pills relay there. So that lower indicator is 24 volt. And then the top one here um, is emergency stop. I ran out of yellow cable, but I'm gonna change this brown one for yellow um, because then all the emergency stop stuff is in yellow. So the next video is gonna show installation of these fans, which is a bit of a miserable process um, of also got on order um, the the covers to go over here so that um, it's not sucking loads of dust into the panel. There we go. Make sure you subscribe to the next video.